Pope Francis wants to change the Our Father. The words of the Lord's Prayer. The amount of the the amount of mouths that have just hit the floor. I'm right there with you. Here's the thing, though. There has to be a reason that he wants to change this prayer. If you've been a member of the Christian Journal Exclusive or Christian Journal Unlimited for a long time, then chances are you've seen this video as it was one of our first exclusives. Previously, in 2015, while trying to pray the Our Father, God silenced the Pope. Since the Pope has landed, it has been a non-stop display of abominations. There are two significant instances that show this man's true colors. He is demonically possessed and influenced. The first instance is when Francis called Jesus Christ a failure. The second instance is when the Pope was praying the Our Father in 2015, which he could not complete. He could hardly utter the words of this magnificent prayer. God will not be mocked. This was originally reported exclusively by the Christian Journal. Make sure you check out our exclusive section. Right now, we have membership deals for $1.50 per month. Have a listen. Now, let us offer the prayer of the prayer of Lord Jesus Christ for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, and heaven come. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass. Again, previously, Pope Francis, the Jesuit, the first Jesuit Pope, now claims that Mother Mary is the source of our hope and not Jesus Christ. The absolute blasphemy sustained in this statement should make every Catholic repent and turn to the truth, the Bible, rather than the doctrine of lies, the Catholic Church. According to the Catholic doctrine, Jesus Christ is third on the list of whom grants us hope, Mary, the Mother Church, and then Jesus Christ. This is a quote. Thus, this is our hope. We are not orphans. We have mothers. First of all, Mary, and then the Church, who is Mother. Then she follows the same path of Jesus and Mary, the path of obedience, the path of suffering. And when her approach is to constantly learn the way of the Lord. Check out the remainder of this article that is continually going viral on our website, christianjournal.net. But now this, Pope Francis wants to change the lines of our Father. Pope Francis has suggested he wants to make a change to the Lord's Prayer, widely known among the faithful as the Our Father. Specifically, the Catholic leader said in an interview Wednesday he would prefer to adjust the phrase Lead us not into temptation. Saying that it too strongly suggested that God leads people to sin. That is not a good translation, the Pope said, according to Reuters. The phrase, do not let us fall into temptation, which the Catholic Church in France has previously decided to use, would be a more appropriate alternative, Francis said. He added that the phrase used by the French or similar wording should then be implemented around the globe. The prayer originated from Jesus' language of Aramaic. It was then translated to ancient Greek and later to Latin. The Pope earlier this week weighed in on President Trump's announcement that the U.S. recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and would aim to move its embassy there from Tel Aviv. Francis said he was profoundly concerned and appealed that everyone respects the status quo of the city. The Associated Press contributed to this report. So what does the Bible say? Because that is where we get our answers. It is the fact in this crazy, chaotic world. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. 
thy will be done, even in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. God is the trier of our faith. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 3. As is the fining pot for silver and the furnace for gold, so the Lord trieth the hearts. So what then does the Pope mean by desiring to change the very words in Scripture? Let me know what you think. God bless and carry on. Donate and or subscribe to the Christian Journal today. Your support keeps this channel alive.